Here we go. That's a good one. Yo, what's poppin', boys and girls? Ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bash TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, today we're out here on the Ogeechee River, about to get it started. Just, just put it in the boat about five minutes ago, and we're ready to catch some of these big bass. We're about to hunt around, just have some fun this morning. Got about three hours to do some fishing, and uh, I think we're gonna get on them pretty good. The water's looking, looking right, the tide's looking good, water dropped a good bit. And I think these fish are going to be biting. We're about to fish this outgoing tide right now and just hopefully get a really big fish. You know, last time we came out here last week, I ended up missing one that was around four or five pounds. Just destroyed that buzz bait. Now I had another fish about three miss it. So today we got to see if we can land a big one. I know it's possible. We just got to land that bite. But let's go ahead and get into it and uh, see if we can find some big ones today. All right, let's get it started, guys. We have... Just a little tiny rage crawl on, one fourth ounce bullet weight, three extra wide gap hook. We're gonna be tossing this around a good bit. Last time it came out, we were filming like that top water only. So I didn't really throw a Texas rig around much. I just kind of want to get started with a few fish in the boat and build the confidence. Yep, I got one. Oh no, he came off. That felt like a good fish. He slammed that sucker. Let's throw it back in there. I kind of stuck him. I don't know if we'll bite again. That was a good bite though. Just kind of want to get a fish or two in the boat right off the rip. Get us started with today. I feel like a good old bass. We'll get another bite. You can see it, you hit it twice. Baby. Here we go. Should eat it. Or not. Dude, I, I don't understand how they're biting. But that's just ridiculous. It took your cross? Yeah, your dude. Pictures? Like, I don't understand. I mean, we've been out here for dang, what, 20 minutes? I've had probably 10 bites. Yeah. Not one, not one fish has fully committed to where I could catch it. Even the top water bites are just halfway. Yeah, that was pitiful. Like, the way that they were hitting it, they weren't even hitting it, dude. They were just smacking at it. Yeah. Now they won't even need to crawl. I'm starting to think that these are actually bass bite and they're just eating it very weird. Very, very weird. Oh, I got him right here. Dude, I mean, like, come on, man. I, my bait's not even in there for two seconds before he starts just... He ate it as it hit the water, dude. All right. <laughs> he seemed like a big one when I hooks at him, but <laughs> this is what it is. This is what's playing with us right now. You little turd, you. All right, calm down. Calm down. Yeah, these are not the ones you want, but 
We got one to start off the day. I think that's what's been pecking at us. Little babies biting right now. Little Twinkies. Only took me five different tries. Gotta get it rocking. Gotta keep it rolling. Dude, like the bait would hit the water and you would just be pump, pump, pump. I'm not gonna lie, when I hooked it, I was confused. I was like, wait. I was expecting to pull out a little brim. I wasn't expecting to die. The way that, I don't know, he just felt big when I hooked set him there. I was like, Squeak, squeak, McGee. I don't know why these small ones are biting. A little rage crawl. A little blue one. Oh, look at that guy's tail. Looks like he's been trying, looks like something tried to eat him. Or he's got some parasite on him. It's crazy. By the way, if you guys want to check out any of the rods or baits or anything that I'm using and get a discount, I have the links down below, codes down below. You guys can go check it out. I don't know. We need to find these big girls. We're easing into it. Mm -hmm. There should be a bass right there. Just eat me just like that. And you're a good one. At least you're better than the other ones. Not really. But the dang same size. <laughs> What's up with these squeakers today, dude? Huh? I don't know. They're all over the place, though. What is going on? I mean, you got to start somewhere, right? But there's like another side of me. It's like, come on, man. At least gain another half a pound, you know? Yeah. Little tiny dudes. It's all good. We just got, you got to get started somewhere. We'll find some big ones. Here we go. Here we go. That's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a two pounder. That's the ones we want. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Oh yeah, that's a good bass. After a little hunt this morning, Finally got us a good fish right there. That's a high one pounder. Fat as can be, chunky. He's a little chunky monkey. And those are the bass that we want. Those little brutes like that. There's some good fish right there. Just caught some short ones to start off the day. Now we're gonna ease up to some better fish. Getting excited for you. That's a good little bass. Thank you, baby. Thank you for biting, baby. There she goes. I felt it. I had a tingling sensation and sure enough he was there. Might be another bass here. It's a good little fish, guys. Just what we got to do to get us started on some better ones. Catch one like that. Start upgrading. We got stuck with the squeaker fever at the beginning, but upgrading to a good Ogeechee River bass like that is not bad. So Cody had a good little point. I do this all the time, but I never really talk about it. You know, I get hung up out here on this river a ton. You know, there's a ton of cover, a lot of trees. We're throwing a lot of Texas rigs around. You're bound to get hung up. So I'm stuck right up here, but I can't really bring my trolling motor up there. We're so shallow. So what I do is I grab this middle line, right? And I load my rod just like that. And I grab this line and pull. It's gonna shoot my rod down, right? So I just drag it down, boom. Just like that. 
So what you need to do is just kind of get that leverage in your line to throw the weight of your rod and reel down. And when the end of your rod tip knocks on this weight, 90% of the time it's gonna knock it off the cover that you're stuck on. So that's like the best tip to be able to get your bait on hung. I use that so much, guys. I don't even think about it much. You know, I do it in the videos all the time. I have a lot of people ask about it and I never really talk about it. So that is a great way for getting your bait, you know, unsnagged, especially when you're fishing around heavy cover. Save you a lot of baits and hooks and weights. Yeah, it just save you a lot of weights and hooks. I'll tell you that. If I didn't know that little technique, I'd, I'd be breaking off a lot more. Look at that rubber duck. What? 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 Little rubber duckies. Dude. <laughs> Mr. Quack. Bro. I've seen a lot of things on the dude. Hey, man. I've never seen a lucky duck like this. Did I just make it a lucky duck? Uh, yeah. It's the golden duck. The lucky duck. It's the golden duck. What is that? And why is that out here? Did you find certain just weird things out on this river? Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you think, bro? I mean, I think that's our coolest catch in a we while. Gotta keep that in the boat, dude. Is this a lucky duck? Uh -huh. We thought it was a lucky hook. I think we're just pulling stuff out of her butt now since we're not getting bites. But that is probably one of the most interesting things that I've yeah. found. <laughs> this is the thumbnail. It's just in my hand, yeah. <laughs> dude. That is honestly weird it's not even like a normal rubber duck bath and body works huh. yeah let's go on a nice day on the lake and take our rubber ducks with us he's just gonna sit there you know it's gonna be chilling what you think about him yeah so i used to go to this lake it's called west point and the last college event i fished was actually out there but we used to call it like ball lake there are balls everywhere tennis balls basketballs footballs everywhere like you'll just be going down a lake football floating in the middle yeah and, you, and nobody knows why it's just like weird man like every time i went out to that lake i had so many like high school and college events out there I fished probably six seven tournaments on that lake every time i went out dude just you find 15 20 balls just laying around weird and now we're finding rubber ducks on the river so that's that's not weird at all Oh my god. It's a good fish too. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Pretty little guy. Look at that bass right there. That's a pretty one. Not a big one, but second biggest today. Pretty little bass. It's not a bad one. It's like the second biggest today. Not big, but it's a pretty old bass. You gotta love that. Pretty markings on there. Don't go overboard, brother. <laughs> you know what sucks, Cody? What? You had like the money-making drone shot, and we were trying to get the money drone shot for like, what, five minutes? And I was like, dude, I just wish one would bite me, and I throw the next cast as Cody's drone's coming back over my head, and I hook this one. Yeah, sorry for the drone It was like noise. 20 seconds too late. It's a good fish. Number five, baby. Woo! Well, guys, it has been a tough little time we've only been out here for like two hours but we're on a time crunch today we want to come out here have a good time you know try to catch a few fish hopefully catch some big ones and it just didn't happen you know we were only out here for a little bit though so i'm not too mad the water just came up way too quick and the moment the water started coming up the bites just stopped like the first hour i had all the fish and the last hour we haven't had nothing so we had a good time we met a new friend on the river today and uh we caught us a few fish. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video.